Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bloomsbury Theatre. It's time to welcome the man you came to see, unless you're someone's plus one and don't really know what's going on. He is a comedian and author. He weighs just eight ounces. Please make a terrible fuss for Mark Watson! <laughs> That's fine, that's but thank you. Uh, so I thought that if I stayed on the treadmill for as long as possible, these uh, non existent latecomers would have every chance of filling out the theatre. We've, we've, we've got most people in the end. We're still about 20 down. If you get latecomers for a DVD recording, things are more complicated than they normally would be. Um, in the past, I've done all sorts of. I've, you've, you've seen me before. We've had all sorts of. Haven't we had some larks with Lake? <laughs> oh boy, I love larks. I've done. I've, in the past, I've uh, primed the whole audience to do various crazy things when the latecomers come in. That is more difficult to. There we are. That that is a latecomer. He comes in and he imperiously kisses his girlfriend or wife. <laughs> if, I may be late, but I'm still romantic. He says. And. Um, <laughs> So there we are. If you are going to come in late, that's how you do it. That guy came in nonchalantly while I was discussing the phenomenon of latecomers, so he almost looked like he was merely hired to illustrate the situation. Uh, but it's what we could do. You'll know if you've seen me before. My standard procedure um, in order to prepare for latecomers is uh, to feed you a fake punchline, um, which tonight, as usual, will be, uh, in the end, there wasn't even a kangaroo, right? Uh, if I say that at any point, it will mean that a latecomer has come in and I'm going to do the joke as if... And if you just laugh excessively at that, as if it's the most hilarious thing you've ever seen, they'll think, oh, I wish I'd heard the start of that. And um, they'll take the regret to their grave. Um, <laughs> So if someone comes in those doors, or those doors, we won't even look at them. I'll carry on with what I'm doing, and I will not spring the kangaroo thing until it could be halfway through the show, later than that. <laughs> you might be on your way home on the tube, and I suddenly appear and say, kangaroo. <laughs> I, I will deploy it as and when I think it necessary. Um, 